Hello everybody, it's the War Hipster here, coming at you with another Contrast Plus painting tutorial. And today we are painting the Skaven Deathmaster. Here he is, he's really cool. And I'm very much looking forward to painting him. He's brand new, he's creepy as hell. And well, we're gonna jump in and start painting him. He has been primed in gray sear. And the place we're gonna start first is on his outer robes. So we've got one, two, and it kind of comes all the way down here around his hood and all that kind of thing. And the color we're gonna be using first for this is Basilicanum Gray. So we're just gonna load up our brush here. I'm gonna pick a place to start. Now I'm gonna start just here, as we still wanna try and get as smooth a finish as we can on this, but these are eventually going to be black. So we're just gonna get this all over, just like this. You want to make sure you do the inside and the outside as well. And then once that's done, we'll come back. So with that Basilicanum Grey applied, don't worry, it is wet at the moment and it is still drying. But what we're going to do is we're just going to take some Space Wolves Grey and we're going to apply this over his shirt and his trousers. This is because it's all going to be various different tones of dark black. But we can kill two birds with one stone here. By doing this part now. Rather than having to constantly go back and forth between our different layers using what is essentially the same paint each time. So we're just going to get this all over his shirt and trousers. And similarly, again, we are going to take some wild wood and we're going to apply this over the top of his little shoulder guard just here. Because again, it's going to be a different version of black. And so with all of that now done, what we're then going to do is we're going to take Black Templar. I'm going to apply this over the top of all of those colours that we've just applied. So with that Black Templar applied, as you can see, we've got three different blacks going on here. We've got the gray, we've got the slightly bluish tint, and then we've got that really nice dark leather there on the shoulder. It's not immediately obvious on camera, but when you've got it in front of you, you'll definitely be able to make those things out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move on. <laughs> and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some Gilliman flesh. And we're gonna apply this to some of the fleshy parts of our rat. So mostly, we're going to be applying this to the tail and his ears and his nose. Just like this. We've got a couple of different flesh tones going on here. You don't want to do this all over. Of course, you could if you wanted to. But we do have a couple of different colours that we're trying to pick out here. So with that Gilliman flesh applied, what we then want to do is we want to take a roughly six parts contrast medium to one part wildwood mix. I'm going to use this over the rest of his skin. So we want this to be nice and kind of pale. Brown. We can get this over the top of the fur as well. Don't worry too much about that. Don't have to avoid that. So 
So with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some wildwood just on its own. We're going to use this to paint in the wrap just up here. And we're also going to use this, just a small amount, to colour in the fur around. His legs, just there. Like that. And then what we can do is wash the brush and then just with a clean brush, just lift off some of that excess, just blend that into the skin that we've just done, like so. And we've got the similar thing going on on the other leg, so just under here. Like that. Wash the brush. Also got the fur just here. And so with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take a roughly four parts contrast medium to one part dark earth flesh mix. I'm going to paint this all over the top of our wildwood that we've just added to give it that slightly warmer but not totally pink flesh tone. That they have. It's definitely very pale. So with that now done, what we're going to do is we're going to move on and we're going to take some skeleton horde. I'm going to paint this over the top of his wraps. Just like this. So with that now done, what we're going to do is we're going to make a roughly two to one mix of Flesh Terra's Red and Shayish Purple. And we're going to use this on his, well, his, I guess his heart, his, his mask or his hood. And we're also going to use this over the weapon grip on his dagger. And so with that done, what we're then going to do is we're just going to take some Flesh Terror's Red and going to apply this to his claws. So with all of that done, our Death Master is looking pretty good. However, we've got a couple of more things we can do before we jump into those metallics. And one of them is going to be using some Magos Purple. And what we're going to do is we're going to use this to add a little bit of an inflamed quality to our Gilliman flesh areas. So on the nose, what we're going to do is we're going to add that there like that. And on the ears, what we're going to do is we're going to add it in to the recesses. Like so. And then on the tail, what we're going to do is we're just going to add it between each of the kind of recesses. Just like that. So 
So with that Magos purple applied, what we're now gonna do is we're gonna work on all of the venom. Now we've got some dripping here on his tail, some on the blade and some here on the throwing device. Now the two colors we're gonna be using for this are Plague Bear Flesh and Pterodon Turquoise. We're gonna be using them at the exact same time. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna grab that Plague Bear Flesh on our brush and we're just gonna pick a place to start. Now I'm gonna start just down here like that. Just gonna get it all over. Our venom. Just like so. And I'm gonna wash the brush, grab a bit of pterodon turquoise, and then I'm just gonna add it in. Like that. Wash the brush, grab a little bit of plague bearer flesh. I'm just gonna add that in once again. Like that. I'm going to keep going like that until I'm happy. And so once you're happy with that, what we're going to do is we're going to take some warp lightning. Not very much of this at all. And we're just going to paint this over the top. Of the whole thing. Like so. With that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some thinned down Iron Warriors and we're going to apply this over the top of all of our silver work. So this is all of his weapons, just like that. I'm going to be a little bit careful when we get close to that venom. So we've also got various little spikes. Jetting out of various places. We've got this hand, but not the belt buckle. And we've got his knee pads. and the little bangles on his tail as well. And so with that done, as you can see, all the way around, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take some Balthazar gold. And we're gonna apply this to his belt buckle and to the pommel of his dagger. So with that done, what we're now gonna do is we're gonna add some shades. And the first one we're gonna make is a roughly four parts contrast medium to one part black Templar mix. And we're gonna use this over the top of all of our silver. We want these to be really darkened metals that we're working with here. Whilst also kind of just getting that kind of quite oily finish that thin down black Templar gives. Just like this. And so with that done, we're then gonna take some Dark Oath Flesh. I'm gonna apply this over the top of our Balthazar Gold. And so with that done, our final base coat is on our Skaven's eyes. And that is to take some flesh hair as red and just apply this over the top of his eyeballs. Oh, 
very much at all. You just want tiny, tiny amounts here. Just like that. And then as our final shade, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some Agrax Earth Shade. And we're gonna apply this over the top of his bandages. Just to make them look nice and grubby. Just like that. So with that Agrax Earth shade applied, our Skaven Deathmaster is now at what I would call a war hipster battle ready. However, we are not going to leave him there. No, sir. What we are going to do, in fact, is take him to the next stage. And we're going to do this by adding some highlights. Now, the first one we're going to add is Thinned Down Dawnstone. I'm going to be using this on his cloak. So what we want to do is we just want to start picking out all of the edges with this Dawnstone, just like this. So with that Dawnstone applied to our cloak, what we're going to do now we're going to take some thin down administratum grey. I'm going to apply this to the sharpest little corners in the cloak. So with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some thin down storm vermin fur. I'm going to use this to highlight our armor, specifically the black armor, not the silver. And then with that done, we're going to once again use some Administratum Grey. Just to add a couple of tiny little spot highlights to the armour. So we're going to just pick out the corners. Of each of the armour panels. Just like that, and then just across the middle. Just like that. So with that armor panel done, what we're then gonna do is we're gonna take some rust gray. I'm gonna use this to highlight his shirt and trousers. So with that done, all of our black details are now finished. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some Screamer Pink. I'm gonna use this to highlight our dark burgundy details. Just like this. And so with that done, we're then going to take a tiny amount of pink horror. And we're just going to add this to the sharpest points.
So with that, our Death Master has taken a massive leap forward. He's looking pretty awesome. However, the next spot that we're going to work on is all the flesh. And again, we're going to be doing a couple of different things here. So the first color we're going to be using is Kisler Flesh. And this is just going to be on the tail. And what we're going to do here is just basically going to pick a paste. I'm just going to start right here. And we're just going to use this Kisler Flesh across each of the tail segments just like this so with that Kislev flesh applied We've actually also done it to the ears and to the nose as well. I forgot to mention that in the last take. But what we're going to do now is move on to the rest of his skin. The colour we're going to be using is Flayed One Flesh. And what we're going to do here is quite simply is it's just going to be a little spot highlight. We're not going to highlight every single edge. So we're just going to pick out, for example, the knuckles here. His little wrist bone. As his little bones just there. I'm going to pick out this area around his kind of snout. Like so. If you're feeling really brave, you can go in here and highlight kind of bottom side of his eyelids like that and so on and so forth across all of that skin that we originally did with our wildwood mix So with that now done, what we're going to do is we're going to take some thinned down pallid witch flesh. We're going to use this to highlight his teeth as well as his wraps. Just like this. So with that pallid witch flesh applied, what we're now going to do is we're going to highlight all of our silver details. Now the colour we're going to be using to do this is lead belcher. What we're going to be doing is just going to be very simply picking out all of the edges Just like that, just to make that weapon look nice and lethal. So with that done, our silver is all finished. We don't want to go too bright with it because we want to have that, that dull lethal edge. So what we're going to do is we're going to highlight the gold with some thinned down brass scorpion. Because similarly again, we don't want this to be like a super bright burnished finished delicious gold as it were just want to give it a little bit of shine just like that so with that now done what we're going to do is we're going to take some jacaro orange we're going to use this to highlight the eyes Like so. And we're also going to use this to highlight the claws. Just like this. So with that done, we've just got one last thing left to do, and that is to highlight the poison. 
And the color we're gonna be using for this is Ogryn Camo. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna pick out the edge like so. And we're just gonna add a little tiny dot Like that to any kind of drips. So for example, just up here. So with that done, our Death Master is now finished. He looks absolutely fantastic. All that's left to do is his base. And well, I figured I would paint this for you very, very quickly. And you can see how to do it in a nice and effective way. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a one-to-one -one mix of contrast medium and basilicum grey. I'm going to paint this over all of the stonework. So with that done, we're then going to once again take some Balthazar gold and we're going to apply this over the top of this ring here. Like so. And we're also going to apply it over the top of this gate. So with that done, what we're then going to do is we're going to take some Basilicanum Grey. I'm going to use that to shade. So with that shading applied, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some Skeleton Horde. I'm going to apply this to the dirt. Because I'm going to go for a sort of deserty scheme on this one, I think. Well, I've committed to it now. <laughs> but of course, at this point, you would paint this kind of dirt section, whatever colour you wanted for your basing scheme. So for example, if you wanted to go for a more kind of soily base, you want to go for like a wildwood or a sidewall brown. If you wanted to go for like a uh, astro granite, you'd probably use siliconum gray as well, although that might be a little too much gray. But there we go, skeleton hoard all over that. With that done, as mentioned, we are going to be going for that sort of sandy base. So the technical paint I'm going to be using here is Armageddon dust and of course at this point you should just do whatever you want for your basing because our base is finished effectively all that's going to happen after this is a dry brush of tyrant skull all over and then it's done well apart from the rim that of course is also dealer's choice And so, with the Death Master's base complete, our little sneaky rat boy is now finished. Yes, yes, kill, kill, all that good stuff. <laughs> I haven't ever painted a Skaven model before, so it was really fun to do one for the very first time, especially such a gorgeous, new, dynamic, awesome sculpt as the Death Master. I'm really, really, really excited to see what new Skaven models we might get in the future, given as the Underworlds team as well which looks awesome and this guy is just fantastic really really awesome and fun to paint and highly highly effective with contrast if you enjoyed this video you love the channel and you want to support me further like these legends and bosses on the screen before you you can do so head to patreon.com forward slash war hipster or head to ko-fi.com forward slash war hipster alternatively you can now become a youtube channel member by heading to the channel page and clicking on the join button just here exactly like these awesome folks have done
And if you just want to shoot me a little thanks just because you really love this video, you can click on the thanks button just below this video. Don't forget to share it, like it, comment on it, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And to make sure you stay up to date, don't forget to click the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all very soon in the next one. Happy Wargaming.